In 2011 in Australia, the government started rolling out NBN, the National Broadband Network. This video isn't a complaint, um, so I hope it doesn't come through that way, and it was actually something I wasn't going to make a video about. But if you want to stick with me to the end, I'll tell you the downside I've discovered in being connected from fibre to the node. The node is a couple of streets away in my case to just last week the fibre to the premises anyway i filmed this originally just in case of insurance purposes if the installation went wrong somehow but again i'm not complaining it doesn't cost the customer a penny but um yeah i just wanted to show you what i think is a little bit shoddy work in some of the installations um which well look it's good to get something for your tax dollar but, um, yeah, anyway, I think the government are being a little bit ripped off. So let's have a look around. So about two weeks before this, with the digging up this was put in by the first nbn technician in most cases not this one unfortunately they will go down the where the original phone line went but he was unable to get a line through there so yeah basically on the other side of this is the device that connects to your modem so the total amount of visits was three which took place uh, over approximately six weeks. Thought I'd throw that in in this video. And the NBN is going to be connected. Goes from here through the garage because they couldn't find a way to go through the concrete. Comes out here. Well, there it is, trenched. I don't know if you can see that. I did ask two times if they, if they put sand or anything down, but they said no. And I said, will that result in any dipping? They said no. But as you can see, hopefully, she's pretty soft. Anyway. If anything goes wrong in the future, I'll have to come and fix it. Ah, I doubt it's 700 millimeters deep like I think it's supposed to be, but there we have it. I'll just put the grass over the top again. Mm, it's a bit lumpy. Suppose it'll settle. I guess I'll hose it in for now. The actual NBN tech will come another day to physically join the two fiber optic cables. I mean, it's messed up the grass, not that it was great, but it's come right here where I've watered it in. Excuse the mess, but the new connection will go to that port, which is the uh, wide area network or WAN port, rather than currently the LAN port, local area network. Go across to this box that the first technician put in. Let's just plug in. I'll squeeze between my filing cabinet. And uh, well, I'll put the lid on. 
put into one of those connectors under there. Ah, optical. Well, I thought I'd show you. You see, we're the first technician put the cable in conduit into the garage because he was unable to get the uh, the um, wire down the, the hole where the phone cable was. But there's no conduit whatsoever. You see that thin little one up there? It goes right to the end of the garage and out the other side. Even though I said to him we do have possums uh, that hang around up here and they have been known to eat uh, cable he didn't seem concerned. Well, I guess I can't force him to do anything about it. They charge the government. But it comes out here where the guys came a couple of weeks ago dug up a trench from the front to here didn't silicon there and didn't attach any clips to mount that flopping around I don't think there's any silicon up the top there so now um, about two weeks later supposedly there's a technician coming today who will join what's in the box there one, the cable goes in there, cable is now coming up here, we'll join that, but um, yeah, if there's no silicon to stop water, it's just going to go out the front, into the pit, so yes, it'll be their, their issue, I guess, if it fills with water, but it'll be me that has no internet potentially for who knows what, good to see they're charging so much for it, uh, to the government first guy oh I saw something first guy said it was probably three and a half grand that he would build the government he was from NBN contractors that dug this well someone estimated it could be four and a half thousand so with today's technician it'll be an easy ten thousand dollars if you can see the trench there I spent at least half an hour watering that in when they left. Most of it will probably die. I used my significant weight to stomp it in, but anyway, that's life. There's the box open, ready to be connected. And here it is all connected. So initially I was very happy with the download speed. It went up to around about 109 megabits per second from the previous 85 on average. But I was rather dismayed to realize the upload speed had dropped from what was once about 35 megabits per second down to 25 with uh, my particular provider at the moment. And now the following week it's dropped down even further. And doing a speed test yesterday, my download speed has dropped 10 or 15 megabits per second. And it was middle of the day, same time that I checked it the previous day, where it was faster. It's become a bit of a nightmare, this whole thing. Okay, so I hope that's been of some use to you. It looks like, for the last couple of years, the shaping, if you want, of... Uh, the upload speed's been dropped from typically 40 down to 20 megabits per second, which I'm not happy about, and it doesn't seem to be any particular provider. So I've been looking around for a lot of different providers who to skip to. Uh, so far I haven't found anything that's uh, been given a really good feedback, so we'll see how we go. There is apparently a tweak you can do if your modem is uh, able to do this, using QoS, quality of service, uh, it's basically, you can bump up the speed limit a little bit, that may help, but that depends entirely on your modem. Anyway, cheers for now, I'll see you soon.